Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to enter credit card charges in QuickBooks. Again, I'm using QuickBooks account in 2011, so this may look a little di different than your, quick, your version of QuickBooks, depending on the year and whether you have Pro, Premium, or the accountant's version. Um, but first step first, we're going to look for the three different ways you can enter your credit card charges within QuickBooks. The first way is go into the banking menu on the toolbar and go to enter credit card charges. You can also go into your account balances summary over here on the right hand side and double click on the credit card that you want to enter transactions into. Now you see that this is our transactional register, sort of like your check register or your bank register. This is going to show every transaction that's within your credit card every charge, every payment, everything. You can enter transactions in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's look and see what start date we have, 9, 9, 14. So we're going to say, I just got a bill in for 9, 10, 14. And you enter the date in here. You can enter the payment number or the reference number, whatever you wish. And then I'm going to come in here and say it's for our vendor base short shore oil or cow oil service I'm sorry so you're going to enter the vendor's name at the very top where I put Bayshore cow oil service then you're going to put the amount that you charged and you're going to put what account that charge falls under so ours is auto maintenance and repairs again make sure you select the account in which that charge goes to so if you're let's just say at office max you're going to want to make sure that goes under office supplies or software, depending on what you bought there. And then over here, you can put the memo. So you can say, oh, for our Ford Fusion um, oil change or whatever notes you want to put on the charge, just so you know exactly what it's for. And then you hit enter. And it's going to tell you that, you know, if, if you're entering in advance, which as you see, from these dates right here. Mine is a sample file, so therefore our dates go way ahead of time. You're just going to hit select yes. Now you will see your entry wherever you date it. You, will, you can go back up and you can see that entry in there. That's one way of entering in your credit card charges. And you would do the same thing for payments. So let's say that we made a payment on this credit card. We'd put the payment company, we would put the amount of our payment. And at this point, you would want to put what account you took that payment from. Checking account, another credit card account, your savings account, whatever account that payment came out of, you're going to want to enter there. And then if you want, again, you can enter whatever notes you want. Let's say September payment, 2014. Again, if you go up here, you'll see that my payment's in there. So again, this is just one of the three ways that you can enter in a credit card transaction. Now, this window and this, this menu option here operate the same exact way. So for the sake of this training, we're going to select enter credit card charges within the quick start menu. Now in here, you're going to want to make sure that you select the proper account or credit card in which you're going to put these charges to. You would select your vendor where it says purchase from, the date of the purchase, Reference number, if there was a confirmation number or something of that effect, invoice number, you'd want to put it there. And then the amount of the charge. Again, if you want to put memo lines in there, you can. And then again, choose what item or what account this is going to affect. So we're just going to say it was fuel. Now again, you can put whatever notes you want here. And if it's for a particular job, you can put the customer's name here. 
we're going to say it was for Edward Blackwell. If it's a billable charge, you can put that here as well. If you do class codes, you can put the class codes in here saying that this was for maintenance. Now, if it is an item, which means it's an item that you purchase for inventory, you'd be able to select your items here. And again, put the quantity, the cost, that it costs you, the amount. What customer job? Again, what class and if it's billable. But for the sake of this training, it is not an item. We're not purchasing it for inventory. So we're going to go ahead and just use this format here. Once we're done, we're going to hit Save and New. That way you can see that you can go directly to the next transaction for you to enter. Now let's just say that you received a refund because some of these cards have the cashback rewards. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say, oh, we received a refund from the same vendor on our card. And we got $2.83 back. Again, you're going to want to put what account that affects. And if you want, you could put notes like cash back rewards or whatever notes you want. And you would do the same thing for the item. If you do get a refund on an item, let's just say you return an item, you would go ahead and again select which item you're referencing, the description, the quantity, the cost, the amount, the customer job, and as you will see up here, it gives you the total of the items that you have. Now, if you have an expensed item and a regular item for inventory that you're crediting or even charging, you need to make sure that these two columns add up to this amount. And then you're going to hit Save and Close. Now, if we go into, or we double click our credit card, if you go up here, you should see there's the refund that we issued, and there's our entry that we just made as well. And that concludes how to enter a credit card payment in QuickBooks.